Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up the camera for our default movement. So let's go ahead and take a look at the screen here. So basically, if we remember um, in the last video, I basically have a character here and he's able to jump and everything now. But what I don't want is the camera to rotate left and right. I kind of like this here, but I don't want the player to be able to do this. And I want the camera to stay at a certain height, like a certain, you know, a certain height, basically a certain uh, tilt here. So maybe a certain angle. So let's take a look at how to go about that. All right. So I think the first thing we're going to do is go to camera tool. And in here, you have um, different types of like camera setups. You have the default, you have battle, right? You got uh, different type of battle camera situations, um, conversational, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, what I want to do is make sure my camera isn't rotating, and I kind of want the camera to zoom in every time the scene starts. So. I don't really mess with anything over here. I've played with the camera function a little bit, so I am familiar with some of the, like how to go about it. Um, but I, I haven't touched any of these things yet because I haven't needed it, right? So I'm really basing this on what I need. And so down here below, we're gonna make sure I'm selecting the default camera, but you, if you're changing a particular map, you can do that here. But I'm just gonna make my camera default for now. This may change in the future, but I'm going to use it, the default one for this example, see. And so what I want to understand is this is seconds and then this is our start frame and then the number of frames. OK, so what we're going to do is hit add frame. And right now it says like 0 0.017 seconds. And if we were to select this frame and hit play, it just goes from one camera to the next and both of these cameras positions are at the same position basically when you hit add frame it's going to take ultimately the same position that you're currently in this here is kind of how you control the positioning of the camera so if i want to rotate the camera this way or this way we can control it this way with your mouse now you can probably edit the camera like this but I don't want to do that so I would rather it be kind of with my mouse here so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna delete this frame and I'm going to kind of get the angle that I want the camera to be at so I'm gonna use my right mouse button to get the angle and then I'm gonna kind of zoom in here like so and this is kind of how I want the camera to sit on the player, but then I want it to zoom in and then uh, zoom in on them. So I wanted to start maybe like this. And then what I'm going to do is hit add frame. And then I'm going to select this, this here in the timeline. And then I'm going to just use my scroll button on my mouse to zoom in just like that on the player. Okay. All right, so now if I sit here and hit play, it goes just like that, right? So from boom, boom. But now what I want is it's 60 frames per second. So say I want it to take three seconds from here to here, right? So obviously if we were to say, right, 30 times, right? Um, 60, I'm sorry, 60 times three, right? and we do that, then I would just go in here and say number of frames. And what did I say? Uh, I don't know what I said a second ago, but basically like that, right? And so 180 frames from here to here, from zero to 180. So frame zero to frame 180, right? And that's how that works. So now, if you see seconds, three seconds. So now if we do this, it's going to take exactly three seconds to get from that point to that point. And I like that. That's great. So now that we've set this up on our default camera, on our default here, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And then I'm going to hit OK. All 
All right, and so let's go ahead and hit test play um, and do title skip. And as you see, as soon as it starts, it zooms in and that's a nice, I think it kind of gives a nice feel when it starts and then the game can start and whatnot. Now, the question though is what if they hit the Q and the E? Well, unfortunately we can still rotate and then that kind of changes the whole vibe that I'm going for. So what we want to do is kind of disable that. So we go to game definition and then I'm going to go to camera operation, disable camera. And there you go. Cool. That should do it. Hit OK. And um, I could just do test play just so you can see how that plays out. And it just takes you directly here. So we just hit new game. Great. And so now we have the same movement. But the only difference is I can't rotate the camera using any of the buttons. Great. And so now we have a nice side view 2.5D type of environment. Awesome. All right. So I hope that was pretty easy. We're going to play with the cameras and like a lot more for sure, because I, I want to try to make it more cinematic looking. Um, but for now, we just want to kind of get the basics of what, uh, you know, what's going on with with this character. All right. So the next uh, video, I will probably take a look at maybe blocking out the environment, maybe talking about how to manipulate some of these these things here. All right. Well, I'll see you in the next video.